The war of words, President Trump taking aim at Republican Senator Bob Corker. It was Corker who told the New York Times the president's actions risk World War III. And after Secretary of State Rex Tillerson is reported to have called the president a moron, the president seemed to challenge Rex Tillerson today to an IQ test. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. President Trump seemed to lob a new insult at his Secretary of State today after that report that Rex Tillerson called him a, quote, moron. I think it's fake news, the president told Forbes, but if he did that, I guess we'll have to compare IQ tests, and I can tell you who is going to win. The president was asked today if he was undercutting his own Secretary of State. No, I didn't undercut anybody. I don't believe in undercutting people. Thank you very much, everybody. Do you still have confidence in Secretary Thank you. Tillerson, sir? Yes. But the new comments come after the president said he'd like Tillerson to be, quote, a little bit tougher. Why would the president want somebody who he thinks is neither tough nor particularly smart as a Secretary of State? The president certainly uh, never implied that the Secretary of State was not uh, incredibly intelligent. He made a joke, uh, nothing more than that. The White House insists the relationship is fine, but that's not what they're saying about Republican Senator Bob Corker, who infuriated the president by saying this to the New York Times. He doesn't realize that, you know, that we could be heading towards World War III with yeah. the kind of comments that he's making. The failing New York Times set little Bob Corker up by recording his conversation, the president tweeted today, was made to sound a fool, and that's what I am dealing with. But we're now learning it was in fact Corker who asked the New York Times to record the interview. And tonight, two Republican senators, the only two so far, have come forward to criticize Corker and defend the president. David, both of those senators are up for re-election. John Carl live in Washington. John, thank you.